Hey guys, welcome to another Essential Tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can bring your 3ds Max animations into NVIDIA Omniverse Create using the 3ds Max connector. So I have this train model set up here in 3ds Max just to kind of show you as an example. And each wheel has its own dummy object and the main part of the train is linked all together so that it all moves together when the wheels rotate. Now I want to bring this animation into NVIDIA Omniverse Create. So I'm going to go to the Omniverse tab and I'm going to go to Export All. Now, again, talking about that coordination system, because 3ds Max is a Y up coordinate system, you would assume that under the export access, we should leave it as Y up. Um, and we're going to enable animation here, but I'm going to show you in a second here why that's creating issues. So if we give it a name here and we go to Export, and create a new NVIDIA Omniverse create scene and import that USD as a sublayer. When I hit play and scrub across my timeline now, you're gonna see that the wheels for some reason are all messed up. I'm not quite sure why it's doing this. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bug or what, but I found a workaround, so I'm just gonna share it here in case it helps you out. So you can see under um, 3ds Max, if I create a new dummy object, and I just give it a name like fix world coordinates. And I set its position to zero, zero, zero in world space. So tap F12 and just go zero, zero, zero. Now select all the objects in your 3ds Max scene and drag it under that fix world coordinates dummy object. And that's all I had to do. So what I'm gonna show you is that if we go now to Omniverse uh, and we go to export all again, this time choose Z up um, and I recommend in future always use this option using Z up and this kind of fix because for me, uh, at least I found it's fixed a bunch of different animations. They might fix this connector in future and, and solve this problem, but for now, um, I'm finding this workflow to be the most relevant. So let's try again. Let's insert that layer that we just exported as a sub layer. And I'm going to leave the world axis to Z because that's what we exported out of 3ds Max. And the root layer we're going to leave as the Y up orientation. Now, all I have to do is go to the fixed world coordinates, go to the X axis and set it to negative 90. And there you go. Now everything looks as expected. So I found for most of my NVIDIA Omniverse Create projects, they've been in the Y up coordinate axis. So this is really only relevant if you wanna stay there. If you go, for instance, to file preferences and you set your stage view to something like the Z axis as the default, then this workflow isn't super relevant just because you can export to, uh, or you can set the root layer to Z world access, import your sub layer as a Z axis layer as well. And because everything is in the same coordinate system, it works as expected. But this workaround is really just helpful if you are used to using the default Y up coordinate system in NVIDIA Omniverse and want to maintain that moving forward. So again, if you just go new uh, and leave your root layer as the Y up coordinate and you import your layer from 3ds Max as a sub layer and just go to the fixed world coordinates and set it as negative 90, then you can kind of keep working in that Y up coordinate space. And you can always flatten your sub layers if you want to kind of keep things organized. So under your root layer, it'll always be world uh, access set to Y up. Um, and that way you can kind of build and have everything organized. Anyway, hope that helps you guys out and I'll see you next time.